Jamie says that I only come out to see old muscle cars, traditional hot rods, uh, low riders, anything old that's, okay, yeah, I do do that. But the one thing they probably don't know is that I'm not just about old school cars. I do love them. I also love old school Japanese cars. I'm also, some of you may not know, I'm also a big fan of drifting. I never drove, but I've always been like a cheerleader for drifting and mainly grassroots drifting. I actually got involved with it as a supporter and a sponsor in 2008. So, yeah, I was hanging out with Nick Dyson and Wes out in Vegas back in the day. There you go. For everyone who said I only like old American cars, it's true, but I also like other things as well. So, speaking of which, there's an old American car right there that will be on the drag strip again very soon. Hey, Darnell. Yeah. And Darnell Spawn. Uh, we got a guest come by today, a friend of ours. Yeah, we're gonna pull up. Sounds pretty sick. It's choppy, right? Yeah. It's definitely a chop king. Yeah. So you wanna go check it out? Um, yeah, definitely. All right, let's go. So, I'm pretty sure I recognize this car. Yeah, you are? Yeah. It's yeah. pretty, uh, it's nice. Yeah. Well, I guess we can show the people what- It's shiny. It is shiny. Let's show the people what we're talking about, though. Get no high five love. Oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry. Secondary high fivers. Yep. So man, what's up, Dai? What's up? What are you guys doing? Chris. What's going on? My crew chief, Chris. Crew chief, Chris. Yep. Just hanging out. So he can talk. So he's gonna talk a lot today. Oh, great. Right, then Chris totally and Darnall can talk a lot today. So what we got? What did you guys bring today? Well, what we brought is uh, Dai Yoshihara's 2017 uh, Subaru BRZ drift car. Skid racing. Skid racing. Skid racing, yeah. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah. So tell us a little bit about it. Oh, okay. Everybody's gonna want to know okay. right off how much power does it Yeah. Thing? Well, how much power does it make? Um, depending on what setting he wants to put it at, anywhere from 800 to 1100 to the wheels. Okay, let's see. Enough talking. Let's see what's between the sheets. <laughs> Enough. Yeah, you know, it's just... You're teasing everyone. Let's check it out. So let's see what we got here. Say what? Hey man, I'm pretty sure this didn't come stock. Chuck, did you see that? I'm pretty sure that's bigger than the whole original engine. Dude, yeah, I didn't even so get that far in it. Basically, when uh, Garrett sends us the turbo, the packaging says small diesel on it. <laughs> what is the size of that? Yeah. It's a 5533R Gen uh, Gen 2. What's that water bottle, by the way? Yeah, why oh, is there? Don't worry about that. Oh, that's that's shit. the secret sauce. I didn't even know. I see, I see some custom uprights going on down there. Oh yeah. yeah, it has custom suspension all the way around. Looks like those those lower control arms aren't even coated. Is that something new? Uh, no, 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 no. No. That's uh, that's a little bit of off road in me that uh, uh, keeps them like that, so I can make sure nothing's cracked or anything no. stupid, so that he doesn't go flying into the wall because of stupid air, or something breaking. So here's the deal, Chris and Darnall both came from building off-road vehicles. And they've become best friends really quick, oh, as yeah, you can like tell. a matter of like 10 minutes. Yeah, these guys are going way back. Yeah. You guys make that sway bar too, huh? Uh, that's actually a uh, progress sway bar. It's oh, okay. a custom for this car. Pull out this box right here. Oh, so this, uh, this, is, this, is, Dai's, this is Dai's little hot box, man. <laughs> See this, John? No, I didn't even really look at the car. I'm pretty sure it's where he keeps the victory beers. Yeah. So what? It's, uh, so basically, it's like a little ice chest that, um, you know, Dai's kind of prima donna, so he likes the cold air to keep him cool. While man, you let him running. abuse you like that, Dai? <laughs> this is true. I'm a prima donna. Oh, never mind then. All right, continue. 
So basically what that does is we fill it with water and ice uh, on hot days, like pretty much most FD I events. Sweat. He doesn't have to yeah. sweat. He can get out, pop off his helmet, and he still looks as cool as when he got in the car. Man, that sounds like cheating. Uh, it kind of <laughs> is, I feel like, right? <laughs> Getting low, I gotta cheat something somehow, right? <laughs> So you, built, you, you did all the fabrication on this car? Yes. You do the cage, everything? Ah, uh, yes. Nice. I, I really like how you just attach the tube right to the chassis versus the big gussets. Yeah. Yeah, some of those it's things uh, get a little... Yeah, I kept it a little bit cleaner. Yeah. Right? A little bit less going on inside the car. And, Makes yeah. it look uh, presentable. Nikki yeah, Hayden. yeah, yeah. You mean the carbon ones? For Nikki Hayden? Yeah, the carbon yeah. ones. Yeah, yeah. So he's got the standard issue uh, Momo race seat. Takata harnesses, Momo steering wheel. So what's behind the, what's running, what gearbox are you running then? Oh, this car runs a uh, four speed uh, G-Force uh, dog, dog shift box. GSR. That's pretty much the standard now for FD. Yeah, yeah, pretty standard. Not everybody's running it, but quite a few of the cars are. And then anything, I mean, obviously you built arms for it. It's got crazy angle. Yeah, yeah, it's got custom front arms, custom rear arms. And then Dai's got his signature wheels because yeah, Dai got is his signature uh, champion three-piece <laughs> wheels on that thing, all chromed out. Yeah, we, we did chrome for this year because he wants that bling bling. Yes. Yeah. What used to be back here? Uh, yeah. What lives back here now then? Some events we run a, a wing on it. Oh, and that's I got it. So that's the mount for it. So events that we have walls that are relatively close to drift line, we do not run the wing so that it doesn't uh, get ripped off the car. I see running the Motec. Yeah, it has all the Motec goodies on it. It's like so much easier, huh? Oh, yeah, we can dialog anything. Yeah. Shock position, speed, how much G forces he's pulling. Look at that diff. Yeah, what is up with the diff? Oh, so that's a uh, winner's quick change. Oh, rad. Look at those Which is pretty arms. common also in uh, FD. The lower control arms and those uprights. Yeah. Yeah, all that stuff's all, custom all too. Clean, man. So, the width of the car and the rear. So these, you just pull these, the you pull them off, you pull it out, and you just do gear ratio yeah, just right there. Yeah, 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 yeah. So at the track, if uh, the gear ratios don't suit his uh, driving style, we can easily just pop this rear cover off yep. and change the gears in there. There's two gears, and get it to better suit what he wants. Makes nice. it easy. We can do the changeover in about two to three minutes, and he's back on track, good to go. Very cool. Di, do you even yeah, even so. care about any of this stuff? I do, but you know, I can't really talk like this, you know. I'm yeah, yeah. from Japan, so <laughs> <laughs> it's good that you know having uh, having him here today. And, really, yeah, zero. But Di, can I ask you a question? Yes. What happened to your hair, dude? You were known for the hair. <laughs> um, yeah, you're right. I still have a hair. No, you still have hair. Yeah, like spiky. Yeah, yeah. But you know, that's just I just changed. But maybe I should do that again. Right when I had a spiky hair, I was doing better. Yeah. <laughs> So 2011 was your spiky. 2012. 2011. 2011. I won a championship. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, yeah 12, 13. Still doing a little bit better than these days. So yeah. that could be a good thing to bring it back. We can just change that. Maybe drive S13. Whoa, really? Just kidding. Yeah, I was just say. So you hear this? You got these donuts? Yeah. Oh yeah. He he said he's gonna manji the dock. And then go ahead and initiate and go down You're the ramp. Down this? No one's done that yet. Well. Well, in a in a drift oh, car, yeah. People have done it in trucks. What, dude? It's just. What's the worst that could happen? Yeah. What's what could happen? They happen at the end of two weeks. Okay, you're bringing up an event that's happening. Technically, the car has to. No, no. Someone's next calling. Week. Someone's calling. <laughs> <laughs> no pressure, Di. No pressure. Just saying. Wow. The people want to see you do something crazy. It's not gonna be that crazy anyway. Well then you Oh then do yeah. It. <laughs> well, we'll Sounds good. It you do it. Right. If it ain't no thing, all right, we'll see. We'll let see. it rock. No, that's not slippery at all. <laughs> Got some WD forty on there maybe from her. You can't get your car sideways, we can wet it down for you. <laughs> <laughs> Scumbags. <laughs> We're all scumbags here. That's what I was talking about. Let's do this. Yep. Let's hear it. Let it chop. Start this thing up. Oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> Sounds good, dude. Hey, Dai, what are you gonna do? I'm thinking about it right now.
pressured him to do this. Again! Again! Are you not impressed? It's pretty impressive. Yeah, see, even Kakawa loves it. What? You didn't do it. 